What's up, everyone? It's the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast. What number? What number are we on? Was the last episode 26? Let's find out. Because I can't remember. It's been a little while. I apologize. But I don't really because I lost two subscribers. It's not like anybody watches it anyway. The last episode was number 26. Hello? Okay. I thought I thought I lost audio for a smeckin'. Test, test, test. Everything's still running smooth? Smooth like a beaver's waffle? Turn up the gain. Gain it a little bit. We're gaining. Gainer! Gainer! You don't want to get too close to the mic, or else you'll get really loud. I can hear everything. I can see clearly now the rain has gone. Something about Jewish people on my lawn. I don't have a card for today. It's been a little while since I've made a podcast. Um, as my analyti- the analytics show. Let me just open them up here. <laughs> my analytics. I have minus three subscribers. I'm up nine dislikes. <laughs> and um, negative one like oh boy i got one share my estimate oh, i'm not gonna say any of this other crap i was gonna say my estimated revenue uh no <laughs> we're not even close to making money on youtube yet if it ever gets there i'm kind of hoping it does well obviously i'm hoping it does But it ain't happening anytime soon. Well, maybe it will. I don't know. Things happen. Look at look at this gender. My audience is eighty five percent male. Forty eight percent is watched in the U S. Thanks, United States. Twenty percent in Canada. Nine point one percent in the U K. 2.7 in Australia and 2 in Germany. Germany! Hmm. Oh, I love me some soda pop. Woo! <sighs> what am I looking at analytics for? Get it going. Whew. I still have a H3 podcast to watch. I'll probably watch it tonight. Or maybe after this podcast that I do. Today's might be a real shit show. It's probably not going to have much. I'm not going to be talking about much. Whatever comes to my mind. I like having a card so I can just, if I'm in these moments like I am right now, I have something to look to. And go, boop, let's talk about that. Let's just throw this into the conversation. Because I'm just talking to a screen with headphones on. And a microphone in front of my face. How long should I keep this uh, backdrop for? I feel like I'm comfortable with it now. I hated it for a little while. But I'm comfortable with it now. It's kind of uh, adapted into its environment. It kind of feels like a thing now. Even though we're still only at episode 27, which is still pretty good. Let's see where Cas- what's Cassim at? What is Cassim? Cassim, where you at, big boy? I'm I'm slacking on the Cassim podcast. I haven't watched in a while. Because as you know, I'm still working away. I'm here on uh, on weekends. He's on episode 22. Uh, 
And I'm on 27. So fuck you, Kasim. Just kidding. I'm just kidding, Kasim. I got this thing for my phone. Because I have a big, fat fucking Nexus. It's the size of my head. The phone. Okay, so this thing, you know, you know what it is. People look at it and say, why would you want that bulky motherfucking thing on your phone? Well, look at this. Pachung, ping, ping. It collapses. So it slips into your pocket. And if you can't fit this into your pocket, then uh, maybe you shouldn't have this phone. Because this phone is big enough as it is, so you need big pockets. And this little thing doesn't bring up that much more space, so you can still fit it in your pocket. So like this, it probably won't fit. Unless you got really fat fucking pockets. Like, uh, ooh! I'm like Jesse from Breaking Bad. You know Jesse from Breaking Bad? He's a good friend of mine. Good friend of mine. A good friend of mine. Let me just indulge in a snack. Okay? Please hang tight. I'll play some didgeridoo. Um, what should I play? What kind of music? I don't have any background music. I don't, I, hmm. I ain't got no background music. So, fuck it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. You can't make me. Oh, these headphones are not... Uh, let me just fix some some gear here. Oh, ow, ooh, ow, ooh, ow, ooh. Oh, that looks weird. <laughs> My glasses. They're up in the sky. Okay, let me indulge in a snack. I'm indulging. I'm indulging. I'm indulging in a snack. I'm indulging. I'm indulging. I'm indulging in a snack. I'm indulging. Ow. I'm indulging in a snack. I'm indulging in a snack. Snack the Ripper. Oh, that's a big snack. I don't need that big of a snack. Let me just pick off a little smaller chunk of that snack. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The snack takes a little bit of preparation. A little bit of preparation. Okay. And it takes some heat. But we're not at that stage yet. A little bit of preparation. H on my booty. Because I have hemorrhoids. I couldn't remember the word. Hemorrhoids. We're almost at snack eating time. Or should I say snack consuming time? But not quite there yet. Now for the heat. This snack can't be indulged cold. Okay. I'm indulging in a snack. Indulging in a snack. I'm indulging. I'm indulging in a snack. I'm indulging in a snack. Ah, that's annoying, isn't it? Yeah. Welcome to the Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll never see you again. Let me just lower my ride here. Much better. I'm indulging in a snack. Snack time.
I'm indulging in a snack. Snack a ripper. <coughs> snack the ripper. Snack the ripper. Snicky snacks. Oh. My computer likes to scroll for itself. <coughs> How far into it are we? <coughs> Ten minutes. Almost eleven minutes. I'm indulging in a snack. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about that. Okay, what else do you want to talk about? I have a beard now. Do you like it? Oh, I missed it. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, beard. Oh, I don't know what we can talk about. Last night. You know what happened last night? Conor McGregor. What? And, and Floyd Mayweather. What the fuck you saying, man? You guys know what happened because it's all over the internet, especially on Facebook. It's like, Floyd won! Pop, pop, pow, pow, pong, poom! Actually, Floyd only was like that at the end. In the beginning, he was all like, whoop! Woo! And then he put his back down and shit. I was watching it with a friend of mine, and we were saying, like, what's up with this fucking referee, man? He keeps, he, he keeps going up to Mayweather and he's like, I got you, I got you. And he's pulling McGregor away. It's like, what the fuck? This guy's on Mayweather's side. But then <coughs> we got looking at it and I was like, ah, oh, no, he's not. I don't know. Man, he kind of was, but the fight was called. It was not like, it was not like an awesome knockout punch that knocked McGregor on his ass. McGregor was just tired as fuck, and he wasn't even defending himself. And then Mayweather just came in at the end and was like, bop, bop, boop, boop, boop. And he's like, okay, that's it. Get out of here. You guys are done. Uh, and that's how it went. When McGregor came out, and he was just, uh, he was swinging all the, all the way. He used up all that energy right away. But Floyd, he was just blocking everything. He wasn't doing much. He was avoiding it all. He was conserving his energy. But it was, you know, Conor McGregor, he lasted quite quite a while. Uh, I think it was around 10. I wish they could have kept going. I bet if, I bet if he didn't call it, maybe he could have kept going. I have to watch it again. I haven't watched it since last night I can't remember if it looked like Connor could still fight or if he really did if he really was done it's hard to say I have to watch it again because I can't remember I know what that noise is. It's these fluorescent lights. They're fucking stupid. Who uses fluorescent lights for a podcast? They're noisy. You can hear the electrons flowing. But that's kind of cool. That's like an ambient background noise of electrons flowing. Can we block the noise out with these? Testicle. I'm a testicle lover. No, I'm not. Don't think that. Don't think that. I was just kidding. I'm not a testicle lover. I'm just putting these back together like a sandwich. Now that's a good looking sandwich. Would you eat that sandwich? If someone gave you a sandwich that looked like this and said, eat this shit, would you eat it? If it was edible? <coughs> if it was real food that looked like this. 
a chef came up to you in the restaurant day and he said, hey, I'm going to give you a menu, but you can't order anything. You got to order the sandwich. And when I give it to you, you got to eat it. Would you eat it? He says, no questions asked. Eat it or get the fuck out of my restaurant. <laughs> Would you eat the sandwich? That is the question. Um, I'd eat it. I'd say, give me the goddamn sandwich. How much? $500. Or get out of my restaurant. Okay, let's do it. And I'd eat the sandwich. It's that simple. What's $500? <coughs> nobody knows, nobody cares. Just back on up the stairs. Space Taco Canada. Why buy a taco anywhere else? Now what? What do you want to talk about now? Who's seen the eclipse? Who is in who's in the path of the full eclipse? Not me. Didn't see shit. I was outside all day and nothing happened. Not a dizam thing. But uh, what was I gonna say? I seen videos, seen some vids, seen some pics, lots of cool stuff on the internets. I would have liked to actually experience the eclipse. That would have been cool. Uh, Mystery Guitar Man, he was gonna go to somewhere. He was gonna go to the one of the best viewing spots, and. You know, take some video and pictures, I assume. But his house got broken into. They smashed the the patio door or something. And they stole his safe, which had his passports, um, his keys, his wallet, and some other shit in there. Social security number. And they stole the fucking safe. They had it in the safe. For fear of that specific shit getting stolen. And it just so happens that the thing that was supposed to protect the most valuable item got stolen. That would be the shittiest thing ever. So they canceled their trip. And they had, you know, that would just be so shitty. You'd be so excited to get to see this eclipse. And then you find out your entire identity is stolen. That's a roller coaster. That's a coaster of roller. <sighs> Why buy a taco anywhere else? <laughs> Don't worry. It's not me puking or gagging. It's just me scratching my throat. Just try it. If you have an itchy throat, gag. It scratches the fuck out of your throat. Oh! Ethan and Hila won their fucking lawsuit against... Uh, <clears throat> who cares what his name is? I just can't remember it. But you know he's a he's just a douchebag, and they won, they fucking won. How great is that? We'll celebrate with champagne and propane. But don't drink the propane; it's only for the barbecue. Drink the champagne, drink as much as you want, but don't drink the propane. <clears throat> we had a guy at the party who drank the propane. Now he feels no pain because he's dead. 
when you die, DMT is released from your brain and you are transported to another dimension where you start that life. How stupid. Then you gotta live another horrible life wondering what death is until you die in the fourth dimension and sprout in the fifth. And then in the sixth, and then in the seventh, and the eighth, and the ninth, and the twelfth. Then you keep going forever. There is no death. It's just progressive life. Over and over again. And that's the secret of life. I just explained to you what death is. When you die. When people have had those near-death experiences, the DMT was just released from their brain, and, you know, they saw the gates, and then they came back to life. Who wants to try DMT? Why buy a taco anywhere? Well, I guess we should end the podcast because I can't think of a shit thing to talk about. I was just talking shit. I was shit talking. Okay, I guess that's it. That's it for this shitty ass episode. I hope you hated it because I did. That's the whole point of these podcasts is for no one to watch and no one to like or anything. Just me talking to a camera. I'm not even going to say goodbye because there's nobody watching. <laughs> no, I'm going to do it anyway. Shut up! Fuck you. You're all cunts.